Don't, Captain Matt, wake up! Oh! Oh! Wow! That was really strange! Quick, super measure! You go and help Mistress Multiplication and Princess Place Value while I help the math heroes! Of course. Here I go! If that math marauder thinks he can stop you, math heroes, from learning how to measure length, height, and width, then he just doesn't know how clever you are. Let's start by remembering some of the things that we already know about measuring length, height, and width. So, when we are measuring those things, what do we use? Do we use weighing scales? No. Do we use a thermometer? That's right, we use a ruler. We use a ruler to measure those. And what units do we use? Excellent. Meters and centimeters. We use meters to measure large things and centimeters to measure small things. Very good. Now let's remember some things we learned about measuring length. So, how many centimeters is the same as one meter? That's right. 100 centimeters is the same as one meter. Okay. How many centimeters is the same as half a meter? Very good. 50 centimeters is the same as half a meter. Let's play a little game. Go, get your whiteboard and your whiteboard marker, and then report back here on the double. <coughs> Off you go. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do. I am going to say a number of centimeters, and I want you to write that amount in meters. For example, if I say 100 centimeters, you would write one meter. Okay? So, some of these will have halves in them. So remember what we know. Three hundred centimeters. Three meters. Fabulous. Eight hundred centimeters. Eight meters. Excellent. 450 centimeters. 
four and a half meters. Now, some of you had problems with that one. Remember, if there's a 50 in the centimeters, there will be a half in the meters. Keep that in mind. 600 centimeters. Six meters. 250 centimeters. Two and a half meters. Really good. Okay, now we're going to do it the other way round. I am going to say a number of meters. You write it in centimeters. Okay, so for example, if I say one meter, you write 100 centimeters. Got it? Fabulous. Nine meters. Nine hundred centimeters. Six and a half meters. Mm, that one was a bit difficult. Remember, if there's a half in the meters, there will be a fifty in the centimeters. Six and a half meters is 650 centimeters. Remember that. Four meters. 400 centimeters. Very good. Nine and a half meters. Some of you still forgot. Remember. 950 centimeters. If there's a half in the meters, there will be a 50 in the centimeters. Two and a half meters. 250 centimeters. Very good. If that is still confusing you, practice. You need to train in order to get better. So if you need to train some more, train in those topics that you are still having problems with. Now, what if we have an amount that's not a half? What do you do? So, for example, if I wanted you to write down how many meters 115 centimeters is, you would write one meter, 15 centimeters. You'd have to break the meters and the centimeters apart. So, 225 centimeters would be two meters, 25 centimeters. All right, if you're having problems with that one, practice it. Do your training so that you could be good and strong in your measurement skills. Really good. Keep it up. Now we're ready for another activity. I want you to measure, draw, and label three lines on your whiteboard. Make sure each line is a whole number of centimeters long. So don't draw a line that's seven and a half centimeters exactly on one of the numbers. So three lines. Measure, Draw, label, go. Okay, you're doing fine. You finished yet? Good. Now, let's remember the greater than and less than signs. We have been using these all year long, so you should remember what they are. One thing that a few of you are still getting confused by is where the big number goes. Remember, does it matter which sign it is, the greater than or the less than sign? The alligator always eats the big number. So the big number 
is always in the open mouth. So, remembering that, I want you to take the numbers that you have labeled your lengths with and write two or three, maybe even four number sentences using greater than and less than signs. Okay? On your mark, get set, go! Now we're going to talk about height. When I say height, what do I mean? Very good. Height means how tall something is. I have, once again, my meter stick. If I put it down next to me, you see where the meter stick is? You see where I am? On your whiteboard, write down how tall you think I am based on where the meter stick ends. I am obviously taller than one meter. So write down on your whiteboard how tall you think I am. Estimate my height. Have you written your estimate yet? Good. Now, I am 158 centimeters tall. Question. How tall is that in meters and centimeters? We did this just a little while ago. 158 centimeters is 1 meter 58 centimeters. Fantastic. Okay, here I have this chair. This chair is quite a tall chair. If I put the meter stick next to it, you can see that the meter stick is a little bit shorter than the chair. On your whiteboard, write down your estimate as to the height of this chair. How tall do you think that chair is? It's only a little bit shorter. Uh, it's only a little bit taller, I mean. It's only a little bit taller than the meter stick. So, how tall is it? Okay, good estimates. This chair is actually 102 centimeters. 102 centimeters. So, my math heroes, show me how smart you are. How would you write that? in meters and centimeters. Separate it out for me. Excellent. You're really showing that math marauder what you can do. 102 centimeters is one meter, two centimeters. Great. All right. Now, in the past, we have talked about the length of something, how long it is. Today, we've talked about the height of something how tall it is. Now, what about the width? When I ask what the width of something is, what am I asking? Very good. The width of something is how wide it is. Looking again at our ruler, the length of this ruler is one meter. The width is this bit, how it goes across. All right, if we take a look at a book, all right, the length is here, the width is across, okay? So you can measure, you can measure things in different ways. You can measure the height, and that is the distance from the ground. You can measure the length, that is the long way, and you can measure the width, which is across. So, Get your whiteboard. Get your whiteboard. And I want you to measure first the length of your whiteboard and write it down. And then the width of your whiteboard and write it down. Do it now.
Good. Now, we're going to do a bit more practicing in something that we've done before. That's doubling and halving. I want you to take one of those numbers, either the width or the height, and double it. Okay. Now, take one of those numbers, again, either the width or the height, and half it. Remember, your number needs to be in the family of two in order to be halved. Okay? So if your number ends in an odd number, don't try and halve it. It needs to end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in order for you to halve it. So one number double, one number half. You can do the same one, that doesn't matter. As long as when you're finished, you have a double and you have a half. Oh, fantastic, I am so proud of you. So today we've worked once again on measuring. We've measured length, width and height. We have estimated, we have practiced changing meters to centimeters and centimeters to meters. We have measured, we've practiced greater than, we've practiced less than, we've practiced doubling, we've practiced halving. That math marauder doesn't have a chance in stopping us. No! You are getting very sleepy. You are getting very sleepy. You are getting very sleepy. not. And neither are the math heroes or the math avengers. Your hypnosis didn't work at all on Supermeasure and she woke us all up before you had time to hypnotize the math heroes. You lost again. I don't understand. This plan was foolproof. Uh, until next time. Nice adventures.